Well, hi, hello folks. It's Rogarcher here, and we're just outside of the west, outside the Western Watchtower here with Logan. He's just stopped for a tiny bit to say hello to those guards, and he's gonna keep on the road. Uh, our last episode was pretty slow-paced. Yeah, kind of interesting, just interactions along the road, but nothing overly exciting. And I'm not too sure if this episode's gonna be full of action-packed adventure either. Logan's just passing through the White Run area. I noticed the Khajiit Travers right there. That looks it. And uh, maybe we'll stop and talk to them. They're usually up and join the campfire late at night. It's actually really early in the morning. Logan practically has been traveling all night. Hey guys. Yep, they're active. Ah, exactly. Perfect. Oh. The longer we travel the roads of Skyrim, the more empty this land seems. Really? Quite the opposite for me. Take a look. Let's see. What do you have? Hmm. Very good. Oh, you got a lot of lockpicks. You could probably use some, but six dollars a piece it's a lot anyways I've got a bit of stuff here and sell you some of these little things I don't know where to pick this bucket up you can take that and these empty little gems maybe some of these these gems I just picked them up along the way but I don't the only thing I can use them for is the occasional um, piece of jewelry that I'll make every now and again. That's just a pastime sometimes when I've tired of made it, making other things at the forge. I don't know if we have much on here that we'll sell. Oh, I'll get these black robes somehow. Let's see. <laughs> oh, right. Pick those things up. Right, I picked a lot of stuff up when I was fighting those necromancers. Not too sure why I picked up those shoes. Or those clothes. It's alright. But weapons. Pick up anything extra. I got that sword. Oh, we do have some arrows, and we don't need those. A Skyforge, and we've got this. Honestly, the Skyforge is pretty good steel, but that other sword is really good too. Yeah, well. Thank you. You as well. Head out. I'll just pass on through before I run into any of my companions. I don't know why I just don't really feel like facing them right now. But my own person, I make my own decisions. They weren't very honest. Or should I say, up front with me, but the situation of the companions. Oh well, let's put a little distance between me and them. Oh, some guards. Morning, guard. Morning. It's practically middle of night, but whatever. It's technically early morning. And a cool one at that. Let's go, White Run. I like the town. Never know. Maybe someday, but not today. I will return there. There's usually some dangers along this road. I should probably keep my eyes peeled for that. No 
what it is about the stretch highway, but there's usually like pack wolves or some bandits. That looks like someone with ill intentions. I knew it. I sense you. You're way too fast with those knives. Need a switch. We'll just take our big weapon out. Do not kill me. We need to get some of that. Let's put some poison on here. Uh, I don't even have any. I got frostbite venom. Both those of it. These guys are why they're after me, but I'll take your stuff. Wow, crazy! Knew it. I can run around. I don't think I've ever passed this stretch of road without something going sideways. Here. Oh, we have to keep heading a little bit east and a little bit south. Let's head up here and see if there's a path. Looks like there might be one. You know, something I noticed about this particular version of Skyrim, and I don't know what it is, but the landscape really loads easily. On, a, I think it's kind of all the grasses and sedges and stuff, or they load really nicely into the distance, so even, like, it just doesn't have a sharp line. And I've been running around in the special edition of Skyrim, and I've noticed there's, like, this really hard line of, um, like, foliage and, like, all the flowers and plants that are loading onto the base background and it's just like I don't know what it is it's like they, even before I modded it it's just it always has this really awkward load I already don't know if you call it loading but anyways like it's like the the vegetation spawns in and it's a very obvious hard line and I also notice there's like a bit more of like a like this the visuals in this particular version of old legendary edition are just really clean but in the special edition I noticed there's like kind of like a grill mark or a chart <laughs> it's like that's what it looks like it looks like a grill mark on some of the, on the screen I don't know what that's about you can kind of see it on your character and on just about anything nearby. Just a little bit. It's just a, I mean, I'm kind of getting used to looking at it, but it's a little bit weird. I really like either of those things. I don't know if it's a special edition. It's just like more, like a heavier, heavier version of the game, or has like more advanced graphics or something, and my computer can't handle it or something. Cause I don't know, like a super great computer or anything, but. The one thing I really like about this old 2011 Legendary Edition version is just like, it plays so good. It plays simple. So. I don't know. I don't have any mods on it. Really, I just play it as it is, Vanilla Rim. I really enjoy modding the Special Edition, but... This has... It's positives, and I do really like it. 
I haven't played this particular version because I've been playing around the special edition for a while and just playing with mods, so I haven't really just seen like how good this version is for a little bit, and it's really there's a lot to be said for the way this plays on my particular computer. It's probably my computer more than anything. But yeah, anyways. Like so that's cool. This little mountain pass trail. I like that. You get a really good view. You can see this dawn. Right, so we're on familiar territory, I think, more or less. Climbing through these mountains. We did find a trail through here, which is good. I have to go well out of my way to get here. And I think we're getting kind of close. It's still probably an hour or two travel, but... I see something up there. Wait, I think I heard something. Sure, I saw something. I can't see it. I thought I heard it and I thought I saw something. What the heck is that? Is this sort of a wisp? Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, let's go down here. Up oh, a river. Oh look. Say. No more stops. We need to find our way to solitude. Oh, oh look at this. Never should have come here. I don't have armor on. I gotta remember this. Oh man. Come in here. You're, dude, you're... You're just gonna walk free from your charges? I, I guess. They're dead. Some guard you are. Oh well. Interesting. What ore is this? Iron ore. Some of that up. It's not every day you see it right there on the side of the road. Well, I guess those guys are never gonna get to their wedding. Ha! Huh, they didn't really seem that excited to be going either. Not at all. I wonder if they've got any. A uh, couple. Cyrodelic brandy. I'll take that. This guy's had all kinds of goodies on them. It's quite a lot, but no wonder you got hurt. You only have dagger. Look at all this stuff. Well, you won't need it. Doesn't do anyone any good. Huh. It's kind of nice. Take those. Need them anymore? All right, well, there's that guy. Yes. Yeah. What are you up to? Need something. No, you lose your way or something. Crazy guy. No, oh, there's the road. No, I see a bridge up there. Looks like I have to keep going this way, but I'm kind of taking a bit of a detour. Been out this way before. Ah, oh, what's that? Yeah. I a little more around here. Farm. I help, I do the chores. What else would you have me do? I know your sights are set beyond this town, but for now, while you're under our roof. These kids who want to have their own way and they don't they don't take it. You gotta be tough and take your own way. You just gotta make up your mind. Funny. 
I just ran into that guy, Eric, and Rook's dead now. How'd that go? But I even get vault. You know, I don't need to stop here, even though this is a tiny little town. I'm just gonna keep on going. I think we're pretty close. Somewhere down there. Let's cross this bridge and follow the edge of the water. Morning, Gerd. I wonder, what does the Dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Guardians? That is a good question. I've been summoned and I've never gone. It's on that island. I don't really see any other way across but to swim. But looks manageable. Let's go. There. Let's quickly dry off my clothes a little bit. Well, while they're drying a bit, I'll just have a bit of breakfast. Looks like we're pretty close. Let's have some apples and and some cheese, I suppose. A little bit of bread. And I'll have a little bit, you know, uh, I'll just have an ale. Light, don't get anything too crazy this early in the day. Let's climb up here. I think we're here. This looks quite right. Do I, how do we get in here? Oh, there. Oh, right. This is exciting. Can't believe it. Look at these standing stones and everything. So this is the place I want to be. And nobody knows why I'm here. I don't think anyone knows about this place. Except for me. I know. There we go. Alright, folks. I think we're going to keep this on a short one. Then we can start out fresh in our next episode and explore this place it's been fun and uh oh i love this sky look how beautiful it is look at those that light on those golden trees it's so sweet i love it let's just take a quick look where we will go next since we're here now so we'll the journal we're on forbidden legend this quest so it's, we've had to walk all the way across the map because we were just uh, up in solitude at Full Gunther, and he discovered the first piece of this Galder's amulet. So he has to walk all the way down from Full Gunther, which is just literally beside solitude, so way up in the north, and he's had to walk all the way down here, which is right beside Iverstead near the big mountains in the background, and we're at German's Hall to get the second piece of the amulet. And then the last place we'll have to go after that would be Sarthal which is somewhere near Winterhold, I think. But this is a bit of a secret mission. This amulet, if we have all three pieces, would be very powerful. In theory, according to the information that Logan has found. So this is awesome. It's exciting. Logan's totally stoked. And uh, I guess we'll have to catch up with him next time, see what comes of this place. He's on his own, which may be better, but especially for this kind of a mission. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this episode, and we will see you next time.